Ayan. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We are kicking into 2024. How's that? Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. This is a good guide, man. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sad sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 60, NASDAQ up 5, SP's down 1.5. Gold. Gold contract up $19.50, trading at 2,089 an ounce. You get silver up 13 cents, $24.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck fifty-three. $74. Four cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 19 ticks, trading 113.10. The 30-year up a full point, plus 20 ticks at 125.28 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 502 ticks, trading 109.64. Euro's at 111, yen's 141, British pounds at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, bring the baby up. We got a liquid market. We know that. It's the holiday week. That being said, what you have out here, you get a flat market. You're at 475. So your ABC structure is 502. We bring this back. Now, let's bring this back. Did it hit this thing yet, man? Let's see what we got here. No, it hasn't. That, it hasn't hit the, the high in the SPY yet. But that would be, hold on one second, let's go to the SPX, because the SPY pays the dividend, which would make the difference. And the cash, oh, I see what's happening. Hold on one second, hold on. I can go back further than that. Cash. No, it hasn't hit the cash yet either. No, the cash... So cash is at uh, 4771. It looks like it's, I wish I could see that far. High, where's that high? 4818, 4818. Qs, we take a look at the NDX100. What do you have with the NDX? Bottom line, you get another ABC structure up. Right now, the Qs are flat, up 19 cents. 410, that number there is 434. Now, notes and bonds. Now, check this out, man. This is, this move has been extraordinary, folks. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt. It's been a one-way move. What, what has just happened here, you can see, you know, you talk about a one-way move. We started with the 10-year at 105, and we're at 113.10. If you remember, the A to B equals C to D is 114 to 115. So now you get another wide price spread out here. Now, you don't have a lot of volume. You can see the 767,000. That's, that's light volume. There's no doubt about that. But that being said, bottom line, we are at, now check this out. This was a big move in the 10 today. Look at this, 3.789. And if I bring this back, you can see in the last three months, 3.789 and then 4.990, even though... It, it, this, is, this was open during market hours. We went to actually 5.02, folks, okay? But that is one heck of a move in bonds, 1.2% to be exact, okay? Now, the kicker is here, and now watch this. This is the kicker. You had a five-year note auction today of $58 billion. The market was at 3.8, and the... Let me get this right again, because this see, this is this went way below the market, man. Meaning there was that much. Where are you again? There was that much demand. Come on, baby, where are you? There was this much demand. Here it is, right here. Okay, whoops, wrong one. Hmm. Can I write this down? Three point eight. I think it's three point one eight. Yeah, it was, get 
this exact one. Jesus, this drives me crazy when I do this thing. I had it right in front of me. And then there's so many stories that pop up. Here we go. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so 3.801. Yeah, okay, here, so here it is. So the market, they thought they were going to get 3.815, okay? They would have been happy, meaning the government would have been happy. Well, no, that's what the market was trading, 3.815. Well, they got it at 3.801. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a huge amount when you're talking $58 billion. And then what ended up happening, because it was such a successful auction, that the market itself decided that, hey, man, I'm going to stop buying the 10s, I'm going to buy the 5s, I'm going to buy the 2s, I'm going to buy the 30s, which took it down to 3.79. Pretty amazing. And then if we go over to the dollar, and then tomorrow there's going to be another $58 billion that goes out on seven years. We go over the dollar, you're going to see we're making our way right down to that bottom. You know, we're getting right next to it now. And if we bring this out a little, let me bring this out a little for a second. What you're going to see is that, you know, there's support here, but there's only support when we take a look at this. It traded down at this 99 for two weeks. You break the 99, man. I mean, the largest support in the dollar, this is, is down at the 90, 96, 96, 600. That's where the largest support is. You can see, you know, you traded there for one month, two, three months. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. You know, this can bust this low in two seconds, get into that. And then if we go over to the gold market, you're going to see just the opposite, of course. And what ends up happening in gold, you know, gold right now is 2,088. And, you know, we have this high volume spike at 2,150. It's going to go there. Bigger issue, you know, does it get to 2,500? And, you know, the bottom line is that you got to remember something, that gold is a worldwide phenomenon. It's a store of value. If you look at the depreciations that are going on across the world, okay, just go, go look at Brazil. Brazil brought the Rio down, uh, the Rio down 50% two weeks ago. Tur Turkey just, they just keep bringing it down, okay? And you got to remember that, where people just want value and they want the same price. So they're buying it, man. They're buying it hand over fist. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.